Hello and welcome back to the Slow Mo Studio, Earth Unplugged. Now, you may have heard the myth that if a flea was the size of a human being, it could jump over the Empire State Building. So today we're going to put that to the test with the help of our slow-mo camera. A scale model of the Empire State Building. Dr Gregory Sutton from the University of Bristol. And a vial of 20 fleas. So this is our scale model of the Empire State Building. It's about 443 metres to the very tip of the needle of the real Empire State Building, which is about 240 of my body lengths. So assuming a flea is a little over a millimetre in diameter, then this is pretty much on the mark. So hopefully we're going to see if a flea can jump over the building today. Okay, cool, when you guys are ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to get it going into the right direction. Right. Come on, Mr. Flea. Ooh. Ooh. If he was a human, that's <laughs> pretty impressive. Oh, wow. He's just He's over the front flip in the whole way. This is an incredible jump. Talk me through the kind of jumping mechanism. So the flea first preps itself by storing mechanical energy in a spring within its body. And that spring is wired to a linkage that goes through its legs. So it stores the energy in the spring, and then it releases the spring via a latching mechanism that no one knows exactly how that latching mechanism works yet. And that latching mechanism causes both legs to extend at exactly the same time. And they have to extend within a half a millisecond of one another, otherwise the flea will start jumping and out of control. Whoa. Well, that's not bad for a first jump. Not bad at all. Not, not bad, bad at all. all. Well, let's give it another go. Okay. Um, well done, well done. Ooh, how was that? Not as good. Not as good? No. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. You know you want to. Yep. So, I thought I was going a bit crazy because I saw it almost looked like a reflection on the glass that we have in front of it. So I triggered anyway and it's a flea. Um, <laughs> Sadly, not the flea we were trying to no, angle, but no. as you can see, like that's the that's the one by the paintbrush that we we're trying to get. But when we play the video back, he comes into frame from the right there. He's like, these guys need help. And then if we just go forward slightly, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> jump, jumps <laughs> and nearly tops it. So this is our highest of the day, I reckon. I think so. Yeah, it's getting about ninety percent there. I'd, ne I'd never seen fleas jump this high before. And you've seen oh, a lot nice. of fleas jump. I've seen a lot of fleas <laughs> jump. <laughs> but as far as our results go today, we can kind of categorically say... They can't do it. They, ca they can't get over the Empire State Building. So if fleas were the size of humans, could they jump over the Empire State Building? No, they couldn't. The flea has enough energy to carry its body mass up, in our videos, about 15 centimeters. If a flea got bigger, its ability to generate energy would go up just as fast as its weight. So it would be able to carry its increased weight up the same distance up, which would be 15 centimeters. So as unromantic as it sounds, a flea the size of a human being could, has a jump height of about 15 centimeters. Worse than us. Worse than us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a fantastic day, man. Great day. Great science. Lovely to have Dr. Gregory Sutton with us. Uh, very challenging, which is always, always nice in a yeah. way. You know, it's Busted great to be challenged. Myths. Yeah, so if you would like to see any more of our slow-mo videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. So these guys are pretty formidable predators when they're in the water, but strangely for fish, they can actually leap out of it. And that means that they've had prey as varied as birds, bats, and snakes in their stomachs. We thought as an engineer uh, in the automation business, uh, it makes sense to look into nature mm. for inspirations.